hello students good morning <coughs> in this video we will discuss about the post fertilization events occur in angiosperms so in my previous video i have discussed about the fertilization uh, up to the fertilization so today we will discuss after events okay after for the events which occur after the fertilization at first uh, what is fertilization fertilization means the fusion of male and female gamete and they fuse to form diploid zygote so at first how haploid male gamete is formed so male gamete haploid male gamete is formed by the meiosis in uh, pollen mother cell pollen mother cells are diploid in nature they undergoes meiosis to form haploid male gamete then how uh, female gametes are formed so they are formed uh, by meiosis in megaspore mother cell Megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis to form megaspore or egg cell which are haploid in nature. Okay. So in this way two haploid gametes are formed and finally the male gamete fuse with the female gamete to form diploid zygote. Okay. Next, uh, after their fertilization or fusion, uh, a series of events occur in the plant like development of endosperm, then development of embryo from the zygote, then formation of seeds from the total ovule, then total ovary is transformed into a fruit. Okay. So, uh, this is the diagrammatic representation of uh, different events occur before and after fertilization. Okay. <clears throat> So, as we all know that one of the male gamete fuse with the polar nuclei or secondary nucleus to form uh, primary endosperm nucleus uh, and which finally develop into endosperm and the second male gamete will fuse with the egg cell to form zygote. So, the first male gamete fuse with the secondary nucleus to form primary endosperm nucleus and primary endosperm nucleus ultimately forms the endosperm which is triploid in nature second male gamete fuse with the egg to form zygote and zygote ultimately develop to form the embryo okay then the ovule ovule total ovule is transformed into the seed and ovary into the fruit so uh, these four events occur after fertilization next uh, what is endosperm so endosperm is formed by the fusion of haploid male gamete with the polar nuclei which is present at the center of the embryo sac and which is uh, diploid in nature so when the when the haploid male gamete fuse with the diploid polar nuclei they form triploid primary endosperm nucleus they undergo uh, repeated mitotic division to form endosperm mature endosperm what is the main role of endosperm they provide nutrition to the developing embryo in some groups mainly the fam in the family poaci the endosperm persist in mature seed okay so in some families like poaci the endosperm persist in mature seed as a storage tissue uh, in that case seeds are called albuminous or endospermous and in other it is totally adjusted or absorbed during embryo development like in fabaci bean so in that case they are called as ex albuminous that means they lack endosperm in mature seed okay then according to the development or developmental pattern of endosperm they can be categorized into three types one is nuclear endosperm formation then uh, another one is cellular endosperm formation then the last one is helobial endosperm formation uh, in nuclear endosperm formation the cell division is free nuclear where each cell division is not followed by the formation of cell wall so cell wall is not immediately formed after the division they may or may not form cell wall towards lactose stage uh, as in coconut water it is a free nuclear endosperm which we drink okay the coconut water okay so that is uh, the nuclear endosperm uh, which is not followed by the cell wall formation the cell division is not followed by the cell wall formation next is cellular in this type uh, the cell wall formation follows in each cell division so here the cell wall is formed after cell division so endosperm divides into uh, many segments actually and uh, it is the part which we eat of the coconut coconut meat okay coconut meat is the typical example of cellular endosperm okay next helobial endosperm so it is uh, an intermediate type between the cellular and nuclear in this type cell wall formation follows after the first division but subsequent divisions do not lead to cell wall formation the first cell division occur along the transverse plane giving rise to 
to micropylar and chala cell, uh, cell. The subsequent division after first often occur in the micropylar end. Once the number of division in the micropylar end begin to increase, the chala cell end starts to degenerate. So in this way, <coughs> the cell division occur individual in individual cells. Uh, that means uh, it will undergo division. Uh, uh, undergo cell wall formation after the first division but subse subsequently the micropylar uh, cell and chalazal cell will not undergo cell wall uh, formation after the cell division so uh, generally it occur in case of uh, monocots uh, and this type of endosperm formation is called as helobial endosperm formation next uh, development of embryo so the process of growth and development of embryo from the zygote which is the first uh, structure or fast uh, spore of fast structure of sporophytic phase okay so that total process is called as embryogeny so generally the stages are a uh, little bit different from dicot and monocot so we will study them separately so at first we will study about the um, development of embryo in uh, dicots okay so in case of dicots uh, actually the first division of uh, the zygote is transverse the transverse sorry suppose it is the first cell it undergoes transverse division like this as present here so uh, it produces a basal cell and uh, that basal cell towards the micropylar end and apical cell or terminal cell towards the chalazal end then basal cell uh, divides by transverse wall and apical cell or terminal cell divides by longitudinal wall okay so here in this case uh, the basal cell divides by transverse or horizontal wall and the terminal cell divide by longitudinal wall and this results in the formation of a T-shaped embryo. Okay. Then two cells formed by basal cell undergoes further transverse division, repeated transverse division to form a long suspensor. Okay. So of this suspensor, the this cell, the first cell is called as the uh, vesicular cell, sorry, hypophysis, hypophysis and this cell is called as the uh, vesicular cell okay this is called as the hypophysis and uh, the terminal cell is called as the vesicular cell okay and that hypophysis forms the radical and root cap so this suspensor grows uh, unlimitedly uh, which pushes the embryo to endosperm okay because inside the endosperm abundant food material is present so after some time the suspensor did disintegrated okay then two cells formed by apical cell divide another vertical wall right angle to the first division to form a quadrant stage like this quadrant stage four cell stage all the four cells formed divide by transverse wall forming the octant stage okay so after four cell stage an octant stage is formed so the the octant stage these cells are arranged in two tier that means uh, four tires in each layer okay so four cells of lower tire gives rise to the plimule and cotyledon and upper four cells produces hypocotyl each of eight cells of octant divide periclinally to form a globular stage or 16 cell stage so after four cell stage an octant stage is formed where eight celled embryo is seen and after eight cell stays the eight cells divide periclinally to form 16 cells globular embryo okay so that globular embryo uh, has eight peripheral and eight central cell peripheral cell divide anticlinally to form dermatogen part and dermatogen finally gives rise to the epidermal tissue system then uh, the derivative of inner eight cells differentiate into periblem and pleurum. Okay, periblem will form the cortex, endodermis, and pleurum will give rise to the vascular tissues. Okay, so in this way, all these uh, form the um, primary structures of the plant. Then gradually, the globular embryo becomes hard shaped, becomes hard shaped. Okay, due to differentiation of cotyledon, uh, the mature embryo consists of an axis, axis with two cotyledon okay so above the cotyledonary node it has plimule it represents the apex of embryonic suit and the plimule consists of apical meristem which will form the suit the basal end the basal end of the embryonal axis is called radical and uh, during seed germination it will form the root or primary root so basically what he told that it is the embryonal axis and suppose it is two cotyledon the part above the cotyledonary node called as uh, epicotyl or uh, plimule which uh, which will uh, form the apical part of the plant 
because it contains apical meristem and uh, the part below the cotyledonary node is called as the radicle which will form the primary root of the plant okay and this part is called as hypocotyl and above the cotyledonary node the part is called as epicotyl okay so in this way finally uh, it have one embryonal axis and op above the embryonal sorry the embryonal axis which contains two cotyledons and above the cotyledons embryonal axis is present called as uh, called as epicotyl from which the shoot part will be formed and below the cotyledonary node uh, radical part is present or hypocotyl part is present from where the primary root will be formed so in this way the dicot embryo is developed okay then the monocot embryo so uh, in case of monocot embryo so uh, this is the diagrammatic representation of different stages of embryo development in a dicot plant then the monocot embryo uh, like dicot embryo monocot embryo monocot zygote also divide transversely at first giving rise to one basal cell and apical cell basal cell uh, divides transversely at first and then uh, repeated division it undergoes repeated division to form suspensor <clears throat> then apical cell divides by vertical wall then uh, transverse wall to form a quadrant shaped embryo then finally it undergoes repeated division to form at first the scutellum which is actually the cotyledon then <coughs> coleoptile which is uh, generally called as the second leaf so as it uh, the monocot have a single cotyledon okay so it is present on one side of embryonal axis that is it is uh, laterally placed and the part of embryonal axis below the label of scutellum is called as radicle and uh, which is enclosed in an undifferentiated sheath called coleoriza okay so uh, in case of monocots it is the embryonal axis and cotyledon is placed laterally and the part below the embryonal uh, sorry part below the scutellum is called as radicle which uh, which is enclosed by a coleoriza okay so it is uh, about the how the monocot embryo is developed okay so development of monocot embryo it is the diagrammatic representation of the development of monocot embryo then development of seed uh, so after fertilization uh, endosperm is formed then embryo is formed and the total ovary undergoes development to form fruit where the ovules inside it becomes the seeds okay so what are the changes the zygote develop into embryo triploid endosperm nucleus gives rise to endosperm the endosperm may persist or may used up totally the new cellulose is generally used up during the development of embryo in some cases endosperm is present in the form of a layer actually it is the new cellulose not endosperm it is the new cellulose is present in the form of a layer called as perisperm so persistent new cellulose is called as perisperm okay then the embryonal axis has hypocotyl and uh, radicle on the lower and epicotyl and plimule on its upper end it is not lower it is the upper end okay the outer integument become hard, hard and leathery the micropyle remain in the form of fine pore on the surface of seed funicle is transformed into stalk of the seed okay then uh, as the seed mature the water content is reduced and seeds become relatively dry the hilum marks the point of attachment to the stalk the general metabolic activity of embryo slows down the state is called dormancy in return of favorable condition the seeds again germinate into plants so uh, these are different uh, events which will occur after fertilization then structure of seed structure of monocot seed it have a seed coat then endosperm then alluron layer the covering of endosperm is called alluron layer the embryo um, it separates the embryo by proteinaceous layer called alluron layer then embryo it have scutellum then embryonal axis coleoptile and coleoriza then uh, structure of a dicot seed it have a seed coat then hilum then micropyle then embryo inside it then cotyledon then radicle and plimule and sometimes endosperm so it is the structure of uh, dicot seed and monocot seed then fruit fruit is the mature form of ovary so uh, it is all about uh, the post fertilization events which occur inside the angiospermic plant